A man turns into a vampire of his own accord. The man in front of him took out a syringe and drew a tube full of blood from the vampire's neck. Then he hid in his car and injected himself with a full tube of vampire blood. The story begins with a mom getting on a plane with her son. She's pale. Her son runs from his seat and tries to hide in the lower cargo hold. The woman rushes after him. The hijacker spots them and pushes the woman at gunpoint, ignoring her pleas. The the woman was shot many times, and her life was about to end. The other hijacker's accomplice hit with the boy in a chair, telling him not to move. The boy was terrified and said, If he hadn't run away, he wouldn't have killed his mom. The woman's body was left in the corner. In the next second, she suddenly opened her eyes. Yes, she's a vampire. How can she die so easily? She opened the hatch and hid in the lower cargo hold. She was crawling on the floor. When the two hijackers came down to check the situation, the woman was hiding in the corner. She saw a pet dog and drained his blood. But at that moment, the hijackers found her, looking at the woman with blood all over her face. He was scared to death. The woman suddenly rushed towards him. Her physical strength was greatly enhanced. Ordinary human beings were no match for her. Soon the hijacker was strangled to death by the woman. Her wounds healed quickly, and her teeth began to fall out. She began to evolve into a real vampire. The woman quickly took out the inhibitor and prepared to inject it, but then suddenly stopped moving. Because she heard a dead man, the voice of another hijacker came over the intercom, and she learns that they're going to jump out of the plane in 10 minutes, and they seem to be plotting something. So the woman gives up the injection and starts sucking more blood. Now, more than ever, she needs this power. Because of her fear of light, the woman puts on sunglasses and returns to the cabin, where she sees the hijacker criminals installing explosives. Meanwhile, the leader of the hijackers is threatening all the passengers in the cabin. But that's not all. The hijackers are not only planning to blow up the plane, they have prepared poisonous gas as well. If any passenger dares to resist, they will release the gas immediately. Then the hijackers went to the cargo hold and found their accomplice who was bitten to death by the woman. But the woman was smart enough to let the dog out beforehand. She pretended to be the one she bit to death. To avoid the hijackers' suspicion, the woman came to the cabin and saw the dead man come back from the dead. The passengers were in an uproar, but the woman ignored them. She went straight to her son and took him out of the cabin. They went to the cockpit, but they found it empty. The pilot had been killed long ago. In the meantime, the hijacker is getting his parachute and jumping out of the plane. All the passengers on the plane will be sacrificed. The woman asked the crowd if anyone knew how to fly a plane. A college student raises his hand and says he majored in aviation and might be able to help. He stepped into the cockpit and was about to take the wheel. The woman stops him. He decided to wait for the hijackers to parachute out of the plane. It would be safer, but unfortunately, one of the hijackers found one of the woman's marks on the ground. She's alive. Then he found a blood stain left by the woman. The hijacker came to the cabin and questioned the passengers about the woman's whereabouts. Someone soon betrayed her. The hijacker came to the driver's door and grabbed a little girl as blackmail. He forced the woman to open the door immediately. At the same time, the woman's vampiric powers erupted. She pulls the hatch open. She suddenly pulls the hatch open and lunges at the rest of the group, who've never seen anything like it. They were so scared, they run for their lives and hid in a corner. At that moment, the final offender who was bitten by the woman began to mutate to prevent another vampire from appearing. The woman stabbed him in the heart, but at the same time, another hijacker saw the scene. He found a drug and a diary in the woman's luggage. He finally realized the woman was a vampire, and vampires are afraid of light. So he confronted the hideous woman. He pulls out his ultraviolet flashlight. <laughs> The woman falls to the ground, incapacitated by the light. But instead of killing her, the hijacker took out a syringe and drew her blood. Instead of killing her immediately, Leave her alone! the hijacker approached the boy and tried to dodge the pistol. But the pistol went off and shattered the glass of the cabin. There's an instant loss of pressure in the cabin. A large amount of oxygen was lost. People scrambled for oxygen masks. The college student in the cockpit also fainted from lack of oxygen. The hijacker took the opportunity to break in. But the vampire woman didn't need oxygen. The hijacker was too busy sucking in oxygen when the woman shot him. He escaped in a panic. The woman left her son with the passengers and went to the cargo hold to look for him. The hijacker eventually found her in a car. The woman raises her gun and fires. But it's bulletproof glass. It's impossible to get through. But soon the woman has an idea how to penetrate a piece of bulletproof glass. First, you have to keep shooting at a certain point until you run out of bullets. Then you find an iron bar. Aim it at the breach. It's easy to insert. But I didn't realize that the hijacker would just grab it and snatched it away. Then, he took out a syringe and injected the woman's blood into his body. Soon, he began to mutate the vampire. But the woman poured a bottle of wine into the car. Then
Then she lit a match and threw it in. The alcohol ignited, and it burned. The entire car was engulfed in flames, but the heat triggered the fire alarm. The fire was quickly extinguished. When the hijacker's accomplice broke in, they shot the woman. She was shot in the leg. She was shot in the leg, but eventually climbed up into the cabin. At the same time, the hijacker officially completes his mutation and suddenly attacks his accomplices. The others try to escape into the cabin, but the woman immediately closes the door and puts a weight on it. The passengers don't see the woman as a hero. Instead, they saw her as a cannibalistic monster. They shot her and wounded her. Angry, the woman was ready to bite the passengers to death. But just then, her son suddenly appeared and prevented the tragedy. When the woman regained her senses, she realized that the vampire virus was spreading. She pushed the door shut to prevent them from entering the cabin. A passenger came to help. A passenger came to help, but was bitten on the palm of his hand. The vampires were about to enter the cabin. The woman took the opportunity to close the cabin door. She cut off the passenger's hand to prevent her from becoming a vampire. She didn't regain control of the cockpit. The woman captured a criminal hijacker alive. She ordered him to steer the plane to the airport. Calm has been restored to the plane for the moment. The crisis seems to be over, but one of the passengers is seriously injured. He was about to die, so she opened the cabin door and released the vampire. Bite me. He wanted to turn into a vampire in exchange for his life, but the vampire ignored him. He punched him to death. The vampire broke into the cabin and started killing. The cabin is in chaos once again. Everyone rushes to the cockpit for help. A man tries to open the door to save them, but he stopped. They if we open the door, then we'll never get it shut again. Fuck! decided to parachute out, then blow up the plane to stop the spread of the vampire virus once and for all. But the detonator for the explosives wasn't here. The boy decides to get into the cargo hold and get the triggers from the vampires. But the woman doesn't agree. The boy suddenly pulls out a flashlight. <laughs> then he crawls towards the cargo hold. He was able to get the detonator, but the vampire suddenly appeared. The boy immediately retaliated with a flashlight. In the panic, the flashlight fell to the ground. The boy had to hide under the car. He saw his son being attacked by the vampires. The woman was determined to kill the hijacker with a single bite. She gained her vampire powers again. She came to the cargo hold to save her son. During the struggle, the woman was completely overpowered by the vampires. She was about to be drained of blood. Suddenly, the boy provoked the vampire to get his attention. And as he approached him, the boy activates the bomb behind his back. Before the vampire can't catch his breath, the woman quickly rushes towards him. Then the man maneuvers the plane to a different angle. The sunlight hits the vampire, and the sunlight hits the vampire, and instantly reduces him to zero. The vampire was brought to his death. Looking at his dying mother in front of him, the boy cuts his palm and drops the blood into the woman's mouth, and gradually brought her back to life. The plane landed safely. The boy was rescued. He told the military that there were vampires on the plane, but they didn't believe him. It was getting dark. To stop the vampires from spreading, the man decided to detonate the bomb, but the military arrived just in time. They stopped him. He yelled at them like a madman, but they didn't believe him. All the vampires are waking up. There was a massacre. The boy ran desperately for the plane, but all he could see was his mom, just like all the others, attacking the humans, running fast towards the boy. The boy's expression turned sad. He knew his mom had completely lost her mind. She had become a real vampire, so he took out his detonator. There was a massive explosion. The plane was completely destroyed. All the vampires were killed, including his mom, who used to love him. 